Howdy everybody, good morning. It is a wonderful Friday, August 14th, if I uh, get it right. Maybe I didn't, but uh, if it's not, you'll see it down below. Anyways, let's go take a look around, see what's going on. All right, and the guys are having fun already. They're already starting to dig out part of this foundation area for the wall. But it, uh, it looks like it's a bit on the muddy side. But it's all right. They'll have a, a fun day. Our little front flower bed area that they working on. I still had them take them down. I think a half hollow block or so it looks a lot better it doesn't look so high we we checked out some of the neighbors around here and they're all about about what we got about one and a half maybe two max i think it's like one and a half we did the same thing it looks a lot better than uh being really tall with two hollow complete hollow blocks high see our mason he wears boots here he's the only one that wears boots he actually cares for his feet and his toes. <laughs> we got skim coating going on. The welder's over here removing all the old rebar off the fence wall so they can plaster coat it, I guess you could say. Yeah, they'll plaster coat the top and square it all up nice and pretty. So we got up there. One of the guys is filling in one of the drain holes for the window type air conditioners that we have up there. So we have two window type air conditioners and we have two split types for this wonderful house. We cut out two other splits for now. We don't know if we're gonna even put them in. We're actually thinking we might not need it. All right, and the sanding can keeps on continuing. I think we're gonna be just sanding for weeks and weeks and weeks, these guys are. There's lots of little wood finishings around here that needs to be done, so they're gonna be doing lots of sanding. All right, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but they are putting in span rails to do the eaves. So they're about to set all the eaves in, so. <laughs> uh, uh, wow, moves so much. So they're setting all the span rails in here. Mm. Mm, they're actually a person that should have. I think he was supposed to come in and install these. I'm not sure he's our regular ceiling guy. But uh, the guys who are concerned about the, the virus and the spread and everything. So they just said, go away, we'll do it. So that's what's going on. These guys are picking up the slack and, and uh, doing it since uh, they didn't want him over here. To, uh, just in case, because he was an outsider for the group. So someone mentioned these are upside down, these little pieces are. Unfortunately, yes they are. You can actually do it either way, this way or this way. But if we do it the way, like that, you, if you do it this way, you don't put nothing on it. And if you put it like this, you put the tile inside of it. So a learning experience for us. So this bathroom's all done wrong and they've already glued and inserted everything in. So it is backwards, so there's not much we can do. We will be just monkeying around and making it work like that. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work and how well the tiles stick to that, but we sort of can't do nothing now with it. The drains needed to be up more and they're already glued in and cut to size, so it is going to be what it's going to be for this bathroom, but the rest of the bathrooms were able to flip them around and adjust everything to I guess accordingly I guess you could say so it'll be it'll be all right but sort of sucks all right so this is what they were working on they're just uh, putting the rest of this in 
Not sure how it's going to connect up to our uh, window unit. Air conditioning because I think it's a half inch, a little tube that comes out of the back of the air conditioning unit. So we'll, we'll find out how it's going to be all. Almost closing time. It hasn't rained yet, but this is definitely uh, tried a couple of times. But uh, just checking these guys digging. I saw was over here asking them, oh, you're mixing the, the dirt in with the gravel. We're going to use that gravel for our, uh, our driveway, our parking lot for bigger vehicle. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, and the drinking compound is finally going in in this bathroom. It's getting finished. Very, very happy. So these guys are putting in the sea purlings right now. Well, they're running a center line through here. And they will drill the holes and then put the little PVC wood things in here. Alright, good morning everybody. Today is Saturday, August 15th. Yes, another great day after a big rain. Caesar is still over here digging and having a good time for our wonderful fence line. And the guys are still working on the span rails for our eaves. Getting everything set up, so I bet by the end of today we'll see some span rails, everything all set into here. Well, they'll be getting moving on cutting all these pieces. And we got more skim coating going on. He's prepping it to get it again to cover it up. Still waiting for our air conditioner, guys. We have the air conditioners, they just need to install. Actually, it's that whole wall right there is uh, all on hold because of the air conditioning, guys. And the welder is doing the last window. Prison bars that we have, well, they're not called prison bars, they're safety bars, but they sure look like prison bars. They just go the opposite way. They don't go up and down. They go side to side. That's what I am always told. Oh, they're not prison bars. They're safety bars because they go from side to side, not up and down. And... Got some plastering going on. Just above him, and some skim coat going on. Fun begins. I think the foreman is going to do some woodwork. He's got it all cleaned out. Looking good, but I am here. I don't know. I'm not, I don't see eye to eye with Christian on this closet. On my closet a certain way. He's trying to make this. A little five foot span into three different doors. It needs to be two doors because three doors ain't, that's too small. I mean, they're little tiny doors if it's going to be three doors right here. And literally, it's that straight back to that corner straight back. There's no way you can make three doors out of that. It's not, it's not going to work for me. And the way I want my closet set up. So. I am here to figure this out by myself because my frustration is uh, getting to me, as yeah, you could say. Alright, I don't know how well you can hear me, but you can see uh, our spare bathroom upstairs is uh, getting done, or you could say main bathroom upstairs. Finally getting the joint compound done in the bathroom. We still got more plastering going on. They're making it all nice and pretty on this wall. It's actually it's coming along really good. So, well, they got a lot more work to come over on the other side once these guys get the other wall dug out. I noticed a little bit of a leak yesterday and it didn't go away. It's still leaking. So they grinded it out and 
and they're going to be uh, putting rubber cement in this wonderful area up here and then uh, putting more rubber cement on the back side. I guess that's one good thing about uh, plaster coating. You're going to know if it's leaking somewhere. It shows pretty quick. Looky, looky. It is afternoon. Well, closing time. It is raining pretty good on and off. But they got this dug out, they got the footers that they still have to lay in there. It looks like probably two, two more footers that they got to put in. The next one I would suspect right on the end of that building right there. So I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do for that part. But it's all dug out for the most part. It's a little crooked. We'll see how it lays. And our welder is working on... The upstairs safety bars once again it looks like he got the big window safety bars done I'm not sure how strong that is in the center maybe there's gonna be a, a center section going down it not a hundred percent sure yet well I would suspect this wall got done but uh, not a hundred percent sure on that either it's all covered up and keeping it dry got a lot of stuff here that's keeping things dry right now I'm not sure where everybody's at I want to see is just the welder I haven't seen anyone else yet we got some hand sanding going on so we're finding everybody there's another one it's over here skim coating the window seal area fixing them all back up after they trimmed them down a little bit just got all sanded down and now Primer in the roof. I'm happy. This was the last little section that needed to get done for the ceiling. Alright, back to him. This little five gallon, I mean one gallon can of rubber coat empty jug is a nice little extra foot up for him to sand the wall. <laughs> All right, we got some more skim coat going on here. Looks like everybody's going around and doing the windows. Putting skim coat on them. And guess what do we see? The cabinets are getting worked on. Yes, they are. Actually, a little bit cleaned up right now, but they're getting worked on. This is I sell this little cabinet. Your walk-in closet is actually really big. It doesn't even fit on the screen. Let me stand back and see if we can get it all in. It's 10 foot. Her uh, little section of the wall is it? It's uh, like 9 foot and like 4 inches or something. Yeah, there it is. Very nice little closet. Just going around trying to find everybody during this wonderful wet day. He's getting around, Mr. Dimples. We came across another thing they've worked on today. They rubber coated the top of get this canopy and uh, rubber coated. I think it's the second layer they put on it. And this is our big safety grill right now that he finished up. I'm sort of thinking that we need to run something down the middle of it because it's looking pretty flimsy in the center. To strengthen it up, I mean, it's supposed to be a safety grill, so... I mean, I would suspect you could probably pry it open pretty easy. See, they're flexible. 
I'll just say I'm a man as I get that. Yeah, I think so. Right down the center, I'm going to have to put a, put a, a nice bar down and to uh, strengthen it up because it's pretty giveable, you could say, flimsy. So he'll strengthen it up. Just one piece of bar right down it will, will, will fix the strength the issues that it has. And that's about it. Alright everybody, that's about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. The guys in the back, they're cleaning up right now. Waiting for that Quattro and Christian to show up to give them some pay. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that little bell button down there in the corner to get notified on our next video. Thank you and goodbye.